Write the molecular, ionic, and net ionic equations for the following reaction. Both of these are ionic compounds, so this is most likely a precipitation reaction. For the molecular equation, we leave everything in compound form and just put either aqueous or, if it's a precipitate, solid or liquid. Mixing up the ions, we have barium sulfate, which is Ba2 plus SO4 2 minus, so its compound as a formula is BaSO4. Do we put aqueous or solid? Checking the solubility rules. All sulfates are soluble, but barium is an exception, so this is insoluble. Zinc chloride, Zn2 plus Cl minus, so ZnCl2. All halides are soluble. Zinc is not an exception. This is aqueous. Now we need to balance this. It's already balanced. That's the molecular equation. The ionic equation. If a compound is aqueous, we dissociate it into ions. If it's not aqueous, we leave it as a compound. There's two Cl minuses. This is the ionic equation. To get the net ionic equation, we cancel the spectator ions. This is the net ionic equation. You can see that this is one of the standard precipitation reactions that we work in this chapter. Potentially, at first glance, this could be a redox reaction, but if we take a closer look, no oxidation numbers change. Ions stay as ions, but just rearrange with different ions.